Hello, my name is Brooke Tenapel. I'm here from the Cincinnati Chamber Orchestra for CAM Kids Day. So we have uh, a few different pieces we've selected. Uh, all of them really highlight the horn's expressive ability and how that tends to imitate um, nature and art often. The first piece is called The Last Rose of Summer. It is a traditional Irish tune uh, that became famous in the early 1800s when it was set um, to a poem. Uh, it's featured in this painting also called The Last Rose of Summer um, as a very prominent, um, as one of the very prominent objects um, in this really realistic painting. So The Last Rose of Summer is a really sorrowful piece. Uh, this kind of represents the musical sigh that's often written for the horn can represent um, sorrow or loss. <laughs> Before the horn was a member of a regular member of the orchestra, it was actually used to as a signaling device more than an actual musical instrument. So it was used for hunting or signaling over long distances. So it actually might have been a sound that you would have heard in the forest hundreds of years ago. So the next two pieces I'm going to play for you are two short etudes from a piece for the horn about the forest, which really encapsulate kind of two other musical expressions that the horn is called upon uh, to play quite a bit in both solo and orchestral repertoire. One is really kind of a wild, majestic, out in the forest, maybe you're in the mountains, lots of, you know, echoes. And the second is more of a joyful, kind of really fun, jaunty tune. <laughs> The second of these two short pieces is more in the form of a call and response. So this could be maybe two horn players communicating over long distances, or it could just be one horn player hearing their own echo off in the distance. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the forest is really full of sounds that are often imitated in the orchestra. You may have heard flutes imitating a bird, a uh, bird song, or even possibly a section of strings imitating a rushing or a babbling brook in the forest. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the horn and some of the call and response uh, things we get to do. Maybe next time you are outside in the park or in the forest, you can yourself listen for some birds or some insects uh, kind of making this natural call and response.